is Mary from The Daily Sew. And sometimes when you're making an elastic waistband, especially if the waistband is like two inches or wider, like an, uh, the wider elastic that is in a casing, you're going to want to sew through the casing and the elastic for decorative reasons and for, more importantly, holding that elastic in place so that when it's in the washing machine or when you're wearing it, the elastic doesn't flip and turn like elastic can do in a casing. So I've already done one row here and I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, the best part is it's still elasticized so it's really easy to do. I'm going to do it on the machine. I'm ready to show you. Okay, first you want to set your stitch length to be a little bit longer than your normal stitch length. So whatever your machine is, put it on the long end. Not a basting stitch but uh, a little bit longer than your normal stitch length. Also, if your machine has a feature where the needle can stop in the fabric, in the down position, when you stop on the foot pedal, then go ahead and set that too. If not, when we stop, you'll want to try and get your needle to be down in the fabric when you lift off the foot pedal. So here we go. You're going to pull from the back a little bit and the front as well not you're just pulling the elastic so it's taut stitch a while then let it go grab it again i have set up my guide so i can tell but i've also used in the past painter's tape on my old machine i didn't have a guide so stitch let go pull it stitch it's just a running stitch let go and again, if your machine does not have the feature where the needle automatically stops in the down position, just try and time it that way. That's how I used to have to do it. Just have to stitch a little slower. Again, I'm pulling evenly from the front and the back. Stitching, let go. When you get to the end, back around, to do your reverse stitches, and you're done. Okay, we're done. Got two rows of stitching on my two inch wide elastic through the casing. Uh, still stretches and comes back. This elastic is not going anywhere. It's not going to flip or turn or bunch. It's uh, staying put in this waistband. A lot of ready-to-wear garments that have elastic waistbands, wide elastic waistbands, will have the rows of stitching over the elastic. It's just a nice little touch. So I hope that was easy for you. If you have any questions, please let me know. I've also, uh, this is part of a blog post, and you can go check it out on my blog, thedailysew.com. And uh, comments below. If you have any questions, I'm here to answer them. Thank you for watching. Bye.